What's going on guys? Welcome to your 14th Java game applet tutorial. I believe it is the 14th tutorial. Uh, what we're going to do is fix some of the errors that we have right now. I um, mean, you're like, what errors? What, what's going on? Well, one of the errors that we have here is once we click within our applet and go above our platform, once we, whoops, above our platform here, once we land on it, um, eventually our ball just gets a lower and lower amount of bounce and or it does something like that. Um, so what we're going to do is just fix that real quickly by, um, and I'm going to go back to our paint here, um, by if the ball it lands somewhere within our platform, we're going to readjust our ball to be at the top of our platform, and then we're going to set our dy to be um, above. So again, all we're doing is we're going to replace our ball to be at ground level of our platform, if again it's within our platform here. It's going to be pretty simple, and then we're also going to add a new platform with a different uh, constructor so we can add multiple platforms at different heights. So we're going to go into our platform class, and I just commented out how we're going to fix this here. So I just kind of commented out how we're going to solve this problem. So uh, this is our solution here. So again, all this is going to check for is if our ball is within our platform here. If it is, we're going to set up the new dy, which is just the reverse um, of whatever our y speed is right now so it'll shoot the ball in the opposite direction and then what we're going to do is we're going to set the y position of our ball to be the y position of our platform minus the radius and again uh, the reason we do that is because our platform y is right here this is uh, x position x y is in the top left corner of our platform and for a ball it's in the center our position x y is in the center of our ball so again if uh, our collision was somewhere within the platform as you can see here I will say it struck right here. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to move the position of our ball to be at the platform Y, which is right here, minus the radius. Because again, if we drew the ball right here, it'd be something like this. We're going to minus the radius, which will essentially move our ball up so it's on top of our platform like that. So that's all that method's doing. Um, so now when we run it, we should get a, a, a different result where we don't get a lower bounce each time it bounces on the platform. But uh, we probably aren't going to run it just to save some time. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to set a different constructor within our platform class that's going to take a x and a y position that's going to set up the initial x and y position of our platform. So again, to set a constructor, um, you guys should probably know by now, but we're going to say platform, and then we're going to give it two parameters, an x position and an int y. Um, and then within here, we're going to set up our class y and class x to be whatever's passed in. So we're going to say this. Um, dot x is equal to what's being passed in, so the x position, and this dot y is equal to the y position, and then again we want to set our width equal to 120 and our height um, equal to 40 and our dx equal to negative 10, even though we aren't using the dx yet. Um, so that's a new way uh, that we can create a platform. So we're going to go back to our starting point class and test this out. So we're going to say um, at the head of our class, we're going to go platform P and also P2. Um, and then wherever we have our platform set up within our start method, we're going to say platform P. We're going to say P2 is equal to new platform. We're going to give it an X position of like 100 and a Y position of, let's say, 425. So that's going to set up a new platform for us in the X and Y position of 100 and 425. Then we're going to do our update method for this new platform. So we're just going to say p2.update. Again, we want to pass in the information of the starting point class. So we refer to this and also the ball that we want to compare the collisions for. So we're going to say ball B. And then also we need to uh, paint our ball so the user can actually see the platform. So we're going to say p2.paint um, and refer to the graphic. Uh, so there we go. Um, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. We're just setting up some new things and getting rid of one of our problems. So let's see uh, what this looks like. We run it and it looks pretty good. We have two different platforms. We can still move our ball and it uh, kind of gives us the same height. It's a little bit higher as of right now, but we get a consistent height. It's not, you know, getting lower each time it bounces um, and we can still, you know, do something like that. Um, the one other thing that you guys might have noticed already is if we go underneath the platform, it's going to put it on the top of our platform and try and launch it down in the negative direction and it won't be able to so it's going to reverse the order again and actually shoot the ball higher than what it uh, what its original bounce was. So as you can see here we're pretty much at the top of our applet. 
but if we go underneath it shoots it up a little bit higher and then we're above our applet so um, that's pretty much it for this tutorial guys and we will catch you later and I hope you have a good one I'll see you in the next tutorial peace